we were walking down the street to go over to the finish line, and all of a sudden, there was a big, huge boom. Smoke came flying out, and another boom. And everybody started running. There was a lot of runners there. Many runners, yeah. We were in the third wave with all the charity runners, so that is probably the biggest wave of runners. Just how close was Kiva to the actual explosion? These two flags at the bomb site are seen over Kiva's right shoulder in this photo taken on race day morning. She's just feet from where the bomb went off. The bomb is just, I mean, we're three scores down from where it happened. Yes. This is where you were when it went off. Yes. It's about there. And how, when I ran here. How lucky do you feel that you moved down the street a little? <laughs> oh, uh, of course, very lucky. And I even, because the, the bomb was happened just where I stayed, you know, and I feel like if I don't make the decision to, to run away and to stick on the, the, the runner and filming, I must be dying. The streets surrounding Copley Square were barren less than 24 hours after the Marathon Monday attack. Barricades and police officers were located at the intersection of Boylston and Arlington trying to pick up the pieces. Thank all of the donors, uh, the uh, large benefactors who were represented here behind us, but the thousands of others all over the world who stepped up. The entirety of the money raised will be distributed to victims who qualify. For Here at the Boston Common, hundreds of people have gathered to share their support and share their prayers for those affected by the marathon bombs. This vigil, called Peace Here and Everywhere, gave the community a chance to come to terms with the marathon bombings. I feel so horrible for, for those that were injured in the especially the children. And, um, of course, the little boy who died. Um, it's horrible. I'm standing outside the George Sherman Uni here at Boston University, where over 500 students are expected to attend a memorial in honor of Lindsay Liu, a victim of the recent Boston Marathon bombing attacks. With high stakes security present at BU, Family members, politicians, faculty, and students poured in from all around Boston to show support for Ling Si Lu and all those affected by this tragedy. Um, I want to show to, to the larger community that we stand together. You've shown us, Boston that in the face of evil, Americans will lift up what's good. In the face of cruelty, we will choose compassion. Today we are enlisting the public's help to identify the two suspects. After a very detailed analysis of photo, video, and other evidence, we are releasing photos of these two suspects. I'm standing on the corner of Norfolk and Cambridge Street. About 100 yards behind me is the home of the suspects of the marathon bombings. Brothers are talking about how about the Bible and how it's a cheap copy of the Quran, and how many um, how many wars fought um, by the U.S. are based upon a, upon the Bible and how they use it against every other country and as an excuse to invade other countries. They got the Stadies, and they got the Newton Police, and Watertown, they had SWAT, they had FBI. Despite the devastation, the people of Boston have banded together to support one another and are finding ways to inspire hope for the future. 
an extraordinary thing happened while we were away, while we were in exile from our building. Um, our flowers bloomed. <laughs> they were they were all closed before, and then they they all came out, which was kind of amazing.